Okay, let me try the Black King. Another Turkish player, and I am... Um, oh, Queen d4. Where was the story here? So what are you supposed to do here is black? I don't know. Asking nobody certainly doesn't help. Okay, queen c7. Just trying to make and b5. I feel like this is some sort of theory. Maybe a5 is a bit too slow. Don't know. But at least I get to castle, and it looks fairly reasonable for me. At some point I want to go b4, but I got to keep in mind that he always has c4 as a reply. So just bishop b6. This one I'm not convinced about though. Can't I go b4 now? Oh, we got some interesting tactics coming potentially after knight b5. But I think I'm doing fairly well there. And if c4, that just drops a pawn to knight d4, knight d4, opening up for the queen to protect c4, so I can just go bishop c4, attacking his queen, winning a pawn with a great position. So I think knight b5 is forced. Oh, I also got bishop f2 in that case. That would have been very interesting. Okay, uh, he could go queen e1 as well. But I sort of discounted that on just general grounds because I thought I would have a very nice position here with complete control over d5. Um, and with the pawn on f5, that means that he has very, very little attacking uh, potential on the king side because that um, that pawn on f5 gives me a lot of space on the king side. Usually, if the pawn is on f7, then knight g5, queen e4 could happen, and so on. So this looks very very good for me. Uh, just h6, I guess. Go away, knight. Didn't see rook c1. But that's not a it's not a major worry. Queen a8. Don't know if there's any massive points, but I've learned I learned since I was little that putting the queens in the corner is something that grandmasters do. And so I was inspired to start doing it myself. Let me see, queen d2 is hinting at bishop h6, which is annoying me a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna believe him. Maybe he was bluffing, but I'm gonna believe it. Okay, I gotta play faster. So I'm not loving this double exchange, but I just gotta play faster. At some point, at the very least. I'm hoping this way, if he does take, I could potentially change the position of, of the queen and the bishop, right? And get... I'm going to take this, go bishop f3. Yeah, and, and exactly get the queen to c6 while the bishop was on b7. Obviously not with the bishop on, on f3, that's never going to happen, but now at the very least I'm winning a pawn since I was attacking both d2 and a2, d sorry, d4 and a2. And now with the pawn up, this should be winning. d5 doesn't work, I believe. Okay, queen d5, probably bishop d5 is even easier. And yeah, he is he is fighting uh, admirably with, with g4, but I think it's destined to it's destined to fail. Don't want to give him gf then bishop d3 and get f5 and then d7. So I'm just um, just keeping control in this way instead. Don't give him a glimmer of hope. 
yeah, once again, don't even, don't even calculate, calculate the complicated lines. Just keep it simple. Yeah, I can just run with the king. Oh, I gotta, I gotta mind the time a little bit. Check, check, there is no mate, but I can win the bishop. So rook c7 was sort of a trickier try, but I, I could also win the bishop there. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna make a serious attempt at flagging me here, so I gotta I gotta speed up. Oh oof, oof. <laughs> that was a serious attempt at flagging. Wow, that was pretty close. If he had gone if he'd gone e7 there, he would have flagged me. Holy smokes, am I slow? <laughs>